I'm sitting here smiling all the pieces. I just want to say thank you uh, to everyone who has uh, bought um, one of the Fickle Lady Cups. I truly appreciate it. And I want to send a special thank you out to Eric for buying a cup and a photo, which is like so extra, extra like me. I know that's right. Thank you. <laughs> I'm all the freaking pieces. <sighs> so anyway, it's kind of drooly out here. It's, it's nighttime, so I'm on my way home. And um, I want to stop. I actually, I'm hungry, so I really want a pizza. I was supposed to be going home, and I made sushi like four days in a row. Um, I was going to go home and make sushi again, but I'm ta I got a taste for some freaking pizza, and I'm fighting it. It's killing me. My stomach hungry, I'm hungry, and I'm craving for a freaking pizza, you know? But I hope you guys are doing good tonight and enjoying the crosswords. Not the crossword, the word search, word hunt the magazine and oh what's the other one what's the one that yeah the magazine i'm on my way home to release the crinkle video and that would definitely help you sleep focus meditate or just stay calm definitely i have really enjoyed that video today so i know you're gonna like it and i'll talk to y'all later okay starting all over again hey y'all yeah. Oh, nice. But we're gonna make it. Hey. Starting all over again. <laughs> it's gonna be rough. Oh, nice. But we're, we're gonna, gonna make Yeah. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. I haven't had like a good baked, you know, healthy dish in a minute. So me and Nadine made some veggie meatballs with some broccoli, peppers, onions, um, some garlic tips, and some red peppers, just a few. I'm about to put it in the oven. This is what we're going to eat for the day. Hi, special spirit lights. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, I just threw on the camera uh, real fast. It's just, I'm frustrated with my freaking mic. It's, it's all the pieces is on tour up. I gotta get another mic and I'm still trying to make the freaking thing work. I'm going home and I'm gonna try to mess around with the batteries to see if the mic will come back on because I'm not even ready to buy another mic. But I just wanted to jump on camera and say, hey, Aaron, y'all, we got a special spell like Aaron. Aaron is in remission. She had cancer three. Is it stage three or cancer three? Um, cancer, ovarian cancer, and she beat it, y'all. <laughs> She beat it. Yes, girl. Yes, yes. I got your messages. I got your messages on YouTube. I think um, Facebook and, and in the website, girl. I got your messages and I'm happy for you. I'm just happy that you beat it. I'm glad you're okay. Um, yes. I, 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 child, I'm just happy for you. I'm happy. You give so many people so much hope, you know, and it just make me feel really good. Now, t today, I'm kind of going through it. I've been in and out going through the freaking anxiety like crazy, just trying to hold myself together. I've been dealing with like a lot of pain and anxiety, um, which I knew I was going to go through it because I did. I, I had a couple of uh, terrible, like little terrible accidents, you know, and my body immune system go through it it goes through it when I when uh, it's trying to heal and I'm actually in the healing stage but during the healing stage I suffer so much um, Nadine is in the store for me and um, I told her to go look for me some sugar-free chocolate yes I got a taste for chocolate chocolate but I don't want I ain't gonna say I don't want no and with sweet because that's the day I won't lie. I got a taste for chocolate, but I told her to get me some sugar free chocolate because Spirit Girl 
is is you know I eat enough sweets are as it is already um you know and I'm trying to cut back I know right spit spit no 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 you cutting back on I am y'all I'm cutting back because big girl yes I'm 49 I'm 49 I don't even think it hit me yet that I'm 49 I guess age never really mattered to me like when it comes to like thinking about it I sometimes forget my age and everything but yeah I'm 49 years old you know shit yes I'm 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 an older woman I'm not even middle age am I middle age I think middle age is like between 40 and 50 and then older is 50 to 80 right and then old old is 80 and over <laughs> if I'm wrong, y'all let me know Because I ain't trying to offend nobody I don't want y'all upset with me I'm talking about spirit girl Don't be taking stuff personal Sometimes people be taking things I say And they be trying to make it about them When um, I'm talking about spirit <laughs> I'm like, oh my god <laughs> Yeah um, Today's been a crazy day I got the website back up and running, had some technical problems, and then I go to check the website again after being on the phone and dealing with the technical people and you know they you know they doing their thing, they they trying to get it together. But then in my website down again, come on, I'm so upset. Like all of the work me and they have been doing trying to like get the website like you know, a, a little something, a little something the best that we can do with what we have the money that we have you know the more money we make in the future you know if that's in our cards the better the website will be but for right now we're doing the best that we can but the technical part is not on our end it's 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 through the website that we bought so we just hoping and praying that they get that that the ish together okay they need to get it together because spirit girl up and over here freaking out and freaking out like oh my god you know even though my people on the website, y'all, if y'all y'all watching the vlog, y'all can go to the playlist. The playlist is always updated. Some of my people already found out that secret. They already know that like, even if I don't do all the cute little pictures and stuff on the website, if you hit the playlist, the video is there, right? I did the update to it or not. The video is there, you know? My people know that. So, but, you know, I've been trying to just stay calm. It's been hard. It, it really has. Um, oh. There was something else I wanted to tell y'all. Oh my God. Oh my God, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot already. I know, I think I'm still supposed to, I think I did. I can't remember when I'm on, when I have an anxiety, I can't remember if I did something or not because I, I do so many videos and I talk so much. If I uh, picked up on anything that I might've forgot, one of my spirit life spirit, girl, you forgot to show us your shoes. I showed y'all the shoes in the second November's video. Okay, I showed y'all my red shoes, the cute little sandals. <laughs> yeah, and um, thank you for reminding me. I appreciate it. Because Spirit Girl be going through it sometimes. You know, when I turn on the camera, I just turn on the camera. You know, I don't, I don't get ready for it. You know, I never do that. Not even in my ASMR videos. I don't practice. I don't think about what I'm going to say, what I'm going to do. I just turn on the camera and let God, let whatever happens, happens. You know, speaking of things that's happening today today some weird stuff has been happening like phenomenal things i don't know what's going on but some weird little things been happening been kind of creeping me out a little bit i've been trying not like to let stuff get to me but little stuff has been like happening like just little things like my lights are going on and off um my electronics are not working or they'll stop working then they'll start back working out of nowhere oh good here come Nadine oh she done picked up some more water I thought we had plenty of water but um okay you guys I'm gonna talk to y'all when I get to the next stop okay y'all Nadine just brought me some chocolate back to the car and look hand me one of them what she has I think she Nadine says she still think it got sugar in it, but I'm not sure. But it says your favorite candy without the sugar. Here. One has stevia. Stevia's not sugar though. A lot of people like stevia. Look at that. Oof. <laughs> Look, y'all. Oh my god. I feel like it's my birthday. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. Hey. Look at <laughs> Oh, stop playing. Stop. <laughs> Ooh, 
Oh my god. Oh yeah. Thank you, VC. Thank you, Hershey. And thank you, Rose Russell Stovers. Yes. Oh my god, Spin Girl gonna have a ball. <laughs> I got me some freaking sugar free candy. That's what I needed, y'all. That's what I needed. Yes, God is good. God is good. Okay, y'all. So I'm going to talk to y'all when I get to the next stop. Let me give you an update on what I've been changing a little bit with my food. And the last two days, well, actually four days, I've been eating. I've been eating um, like steamed food or... Uh, roasted food or food that we put in the oven um i still ate um breakfast today i ate fried eggs and um onions um but about three to four days before that if i had to eat breakfast i ate boiled eggs and i've been snacking on celery um and vinaigrette which has been really good i feel like i got bit by something like a mosquito or something Ooh, in the winter? Ah, oh, that's crazy. It's got to be in my truck somewhere. Uh, um, and I been snacking. Well, I tried to snack on the sugar free candy. I did like maybe three good pieces. I um, tried a piece from each each bag that they didn't. She got me some Reese's. She got me some um Hershey. And she got me like this, mm, my stomach growling, coconut type candy. And um, I guess I'm not there yet. <laughs> I'm not there yet. Nadine loving the sugar-free candy. She's loving it. It's taking me a minute. She's like, Mom, okay. Is it any, do you want me to try a different, another type of sugar-free candy? I'm like, no. <laughs> She's like, well you sure and i'm like well if you find something with like some walnuts in it you know but in my mind i'm thinking like i guess i'll get there now i can't say the sugar free candy they did a good job like it is sweet and everything i don't know maybe it's my mind my thought process of the fact that i'm trying to switch over and my stomach is not in agreement. <laughs> uh, oh God. Okay. I, so I think tonight she's looking for sugar-free creamer for me. Um, Cause I am drinking the organic coffee and uh, that's one one of the reasons why I kind of was like kind of like let slacking on like letting go with the coffee for a little while was because I've been uh, really thirsty a lot lately like I'm always thirsty and they didn't think that it could be the coffee but also it could be like the creamer the sugar intake or whatever um, I feel like I do take I intake a lot of sugar because not only do I um when I'm fuming or uh, if I'm eating something like a snack or something has a lot of sugar in it and then I go to drink my coffee just for comfort and then I use creamer might have sugar in it you know so just trying to lower some of the sugar that I am intaking you know And I want to I wanna do a good job because I am going to be 50 in 2020. Hey, I'm going to be 50 in 2020. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> I get to see, God's willing, I get to see 50 years old. I'm so excited about it. And uh, I want to do a good job. I want to be, like, better to myself in that year because I I did get to reach 50 so it's like yes that's just like a blessing ah <sighs> what a night oh what a night <laughs> but other than that 
Well, that's kind of huge. That is huge to be like making like a, a diet change, you know. And it's not a diet for me because I'm not I'm not on a diet. I'm not claiming that whatsoever. I'm not claiming that because I feel like for me to claim a diet, I'm just setting myself up to fail, you know. So what I'm doing is trying to change over. There are some things that I will no longer buy unless it's organic. And, you know, and if I have to have certain things, it will have to be gluten free. And I'm going to try to change over some of my things to sugar free. Um, one step at a time. One step at a time. You know, that's, you know, I think I'll be okay. I'll be okay, one step at a time, you know. I, I'm one of them people I feel like I'm always giving up something, like I'm giving up my, my life comforts, you know, that that I just love. But I'm trying not to look at it that way. I'm looking at it as a lifestyle change and also a blessing in a way because I'll get to feel, you know, maybe a lot better, you know. And that's the other thing. I have been feeling better. Okay, I have been feeling better. And Nadine's, you know, she's she's proud of me. Of the, the changes that I'm making and it, um, the effort that I'm really giving it. Um, and it's not really hard. It's not hard. It's, it becomes hard when um, there's nothing to eat. And I have to start digging in the cabinets and the refrigerator and stuff like that. And then I'm... You know how it is. It ain't nothing to eat. You know, you're going to pull out the cereal, you know. And a lot of the cereals have a lot of sugar in it. But, you know, there are cereals with no sugar in it. But who wants cereal with no sugar? <laughs> who? <laughs> oh, my God. Anyway. And then if I can't have cereal, I'm probably going to eat some cream of wheat. And if not cream of wheat, I got some gluten-free cream of wheat, which is really good. Okay, Nadine is here. So, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. I got the heat blasting right now because it is cold out here in Texas. It is cold. It has not warmed up. I don't know if that we adjusted to the weather. I know when I first came here, when I was uh, from Virginia, I was saying, why do these people got on these coats and jackets? They crazy. It's hot out here. And now, you know, I'm one of the same people that's walking around. I got my, my sweater right here. I took it off because I got the heat in here blasting. And I want to enjoy the heat. Yeah, I don't have no light, though. Let me turn and see if I... Oh, that... No, shoot. That took out all the freaking light. <laughs> Shoot, I ain't gonna worry about it. I'm not gonna worry about it. Mm -mm. But anyway, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this heat blasting. I'm gonna stretch my leg a little bit. Nadine ran inside of the store to see if she can get me some organic um, potatoes and some sugar-free, some sugar-free creamer so I can have me my coffee. Um, <sighs> decaf coffee. I'm hoping that she find it. If she don't, I'll look for it uh, maybe tomorrow. Hopefully, I feel better tomorrow. Go on, go, I'm going to go home and take me a hot, hot bath. I'm going to soak. I got me some icy hot. I'm going to rub that all over my leg. But I'm going to do it all in the bathroom. I'm going to sit in the bathroom for about 10 minutes while it's soaking into my skin. And then I'm going to rub me some hot, hot water. And I'm going to get in it. And I'm going to just sit in there and just, oh and try to relax and my whole body sore my whole body especially like uh, oh my feet they just sore everything is so sore my body going through it but i just want to say good night and again congratulations aaron congratulations i'm so happy girl so happy you okay yeah um spirit girl gonna go home i'm gonna release a mic brushing ASMR video I think it's gonna be about nine o'clock I'm gonna release that 
and then once I release that, yeah, I'll be in my bathroom and <laughs> pampering my body. Oh my God. Yes, I'll be smelling like the oldest person you know. <laughs> I try not to use Icy Hot because it opens up everybody's nostrils. But child, my body's sore tonight. I got to. Mm-hmm. Oh, I know. I knew I had one more thing to say, but I couldn't think of it earlier. The caterpillars. I looked it up. It's called ASP. ASP. The caterpillars. I cannot believe that they they so dangerous. I can't believe it. They so beautiful, so furry, so cute and dangerous. I'm so glad one of my spirit of lights left that comment. Yeah, and I haven't had a chance to tell Dream about it either. I need to tell Dream. I need to tell Dream about it. Oh, I'm looking at a couple, y'all. They out here walking. They got they got on the same outfit, same sneakers and socks. Are they cute? <laughs> And they out here walking together. That's so cute. Yes, I know that's right. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, lose weight together, stay healthy together, stay fit together. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, 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 yes. When I was younger, I used to want to be with a man that was opposite of me. Now I kind of want to, I think I want somebody who's kind of similar to the, to the way I am. Yeah, that way we can enjoy some of the same things in life, especially while I'm getting older and I ain't really trying to be out here like that, you know, partying and all that stuff. I just want to chill. Like, send me your location and love. <laughs> I go start. <laughs> woo, woo. Yes. Mm mm mm. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. I just want to chill. Yes. Anyway, Spear Girl is signing out for tonight, but, um, or maybe not. It depends on uh, what's going on when I get home. Hopefully, not too much. I'm, I, I am hungry. Let me talk about that. I keep saying I got to go. <laughs> and then it's dark as free, and all you can see is my teeth. <laughs> Okay, the the I want to talk about the fact that I haven't eaten today. All I ate was um, Nadine made me a boiled egg. I mean, I was supposed to be eating my celery. I didn't get to eat that. I made them. I put them in vinegar and oil and garlic. Put them in the refrigerator, and I didn't eat them. And tonight, um, I wanted to eat something light, but I'm going home and make me a burger. I told Nadine give me some organic rolls. I'm going home and I'm going to make me a burger and I am going to eat. I have to eat, but once I eat, I can't eat in the middle of the night. That's what I'm doing. I'm holding back. I'm not, not holding back. I'm, um, I think it's cutting back, cutting back with every time I want a snack, I go run to the refrigerator. Now I'm like in the bed, shake it like, oh God, just make it to the morning spirit. You can make it to the morning. You can make it. And it seems like every, every time. I say I'm gonna cut back, I get more and more tempted and it's so much harder. But tonight I'm gonna to try to eat me a satisfying meal so that I'm not up in the middle of the night trying to get me a snack. But if I do, I got these sugar feed candy up in here, especially the Reese's, oh my God. Yes, yeah, so Spirit Girl, see y'all again. Say goodbye to y'all, I can't, it's, it's too dark. Bear girl, see y'all tomorrow, okay? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Hi, special spirit of lights. I know it's late. I'm wearing no light at. I'm parked. I'm waiting on Nadine. She just ran into the store real quick. We're on our way to go get us some to eat and try to make it back home. I have a uh, a couple of things that I need to finish out before my night is done. Oh, 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 oh. Well, yeah, I'm just adjoining. This is what happens when you don't take a nap when you get old. <laughs> yeah, I wish I would have took a nap today. I haven't had no nap today. I've been up all day. I've been up since 2.30 this morning. Nadine wanted me, she said, wanted me to come in the store with her. 
And yeah, cause I like to get in the store and look around and see what I can find unique. Um, it's cause I want to find me like a, a good snack, a snack that I can eat at night. That's not going to be, or have too much sugar. That's going to keep me awake or anything like that. Because when I do lay down, I do need to fall asleep so I can get up early. And sometimes a lot of the little snacks I eat give me too much energy. So I'm looking for something that will give me less energy so I can really rest good at night. It is cold out here today, y'all. It's cold. Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah, it's time to, to lay it down. Lay it down. Today's been, it's a cold day, but it just seems like it's been a sad day. I think for two days, I've just been feeling like the sadness of the world. A lot of people going through stuff, going through things. This that time of year, people start going through things, you know. <sighs> I'd be glad when it warm up though. I really do. Okay, so this is our last stop picking up our food. I'm on my way home. We filled up the car with gas. Um, the gas is running 204. But you know, um, when you get to like, you know, neighborhoods that's not as extravagant as others, the gas starts to get up to 219 that's the highest I saw so far <sighs> so you know if you in like them really nice neighborhoods and you gotta fill up fill up fill up fill up before you know because the gas get higher oh my god it just don't make no sense <laughs> and then this one guy he was just so upset because he tried to buy a lighter and he wasn't 21 y'all <laughs> I didn't even know I learned that tonight that, 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 that the gas station won't sell you a lighter unless you're 21. <laughs> that, oh, you heard the guy? Yeah, that is so funny. Wasn't that funny? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was going off too. He was so upset. He was upset. He said, what you mean I can't buy a lighter? And I said, Dad, don't they sell lighters at the dollar store and at Dollar General and stuff? Oh, Dollar Tree. Like, what? You got to be 21 to buy a lighter? Shoot. I said, okay, he could be lighting a candle. <laughs> <laughs> but you know I don't know gas stations has their reasons I don't know anyway good night y'all see y'all later I just finished cooking my dinner for the night and I'm gonna check on it now hopefully it's done it's coming out the oven sorry if my refrigerator is so loud but I don't feel like turning it off Ooh. Ooh. Okay, my sis kebab consists of broccoli, mushroom, onion, um, garlic. Some of them got like seafood pieces on them, like crab. Um, yeah, I made a few plain ones for Dream, and then over here, don't have no mushrooms on them. That's Nadine's. And on this side has mushrooms on them, which is mine's. Mm -mm -mm. Smells so good. Also added onions and peppers. All organic. Except for the, sea the seafood. I don't think seafood is just seafood. But yeah, the vegetables are organic. Yeah, giving a healthy a try. I'm trying. Just kebab, steam with some um, sauce. It smells so good too. Yes, y'all have a good night. Hey y'all. Well, I'm home. I'm relaxing. <laughs> I'm about to. I ain't paying you the money, then. I'm about to uh, chill out, I'm about to watch the Pets movie, Pets 2. That movie is so funny to me. Is this our third night trying to watch this? No, second. second night? Child. That was, okay, the funniest part to me that I got to so far 
It's a couple of funny parts, okay? <laughs> but this part was so funny. Just the number one funny thing to me. I was halfway asleep. And I was trying to stay woke because I wasn't feeling good. I had a rough night uh, yesterday. It was rough. So Nadine put on a, a cartoon she bought it from. Um, Red, Box. Red Box. So... Yeah, so it's me, Nadine, and Dream. Dream passed out. It, did you know? No, Dream actually watched the whole movie, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, child, let, let me get this right. I, I ain't not quote from quote, but let me tell you how funny. This is what I saw in my head. The dogs, it's two dogs. They were going on vacation with their family. And they went to a farm, okay? And I don't know why they went to the farm. I don't know if it's family or not. Because I got to rewatch it because I was halfway you asleep. The that was not the pets? No, Dream. He watched the other movie. Oh, he watched the other movie with us? What's that other movie Dream watch? Oh, uh, Don't Let Go. He stayed woke through that. That was so good. That was a good movie. But anyway, I'm not talking about that. So the pets. <laughs> we'll get to this part because it's so funny. The, the dog got to the farm. He said to his other dog, his little puppy friend, Oh, a cow. Moo. And he started going, Moo. And the cow was just sitting there mm, eating or whatever. Mm. And <laughs> he is like, Why are you a cow? Why are you not saying moo? So. I'm sitting there, they did sit there. All of a sudden, the cow stopped, looked over, and said, I'm a dog. And then she showed her butt cheeks, and they were moving, switching. So I'm just wagging my tail. <laughs> and she said, I'm just digging in the grass because I ain't got nothing to do. Oh my God, she started going it with the dog. And <laughs> it went from smiling like, Oh my God, a cow! to. When she's, I'm, I'm a dog, and I'm just wagging my tail. <laughs> His face went from smiling to, and she was just going in on him. He was like, okay, you're not funny. Okay, conversation over. And she was just going in, and the mean thing was like, what the freak? We ain't never seen no cow move their body like that, okay? And she wouldn't stop going in on him. She would <laughs> <laughs> she was going on and on and on. Nadine said, I, I, she thinks the, the cow waited her whole life to, <laughs> to be able to say, the first dog say something to me, I'm going off on him. <laughs> she, she went off on that dog, okay? <laughs> Nadine, what else she say to that damn little dog? She was peeing on the um, tree. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she peeing on a tree. Oh my God, why did cow go off with a dog like that? I feel so sorry for him. She dragged him to the mill, y'all. <laughs> and then I fell out later. I fell out twice about that part. Now, the second part that was funny to me, <laughs> the dog was going on, he found out that from his other dog friend, the smaller dog, the one that didn't like kids from the beginning, uh, said, they was going on vacation. He said, oh, my God, we're going on vacation. He had this little sweezy toy. I got the same toy. I got the same sweezy toy. But mine's just, like, uh, soft because Dream bought it for me um, a while ago. It's a little bee. And I was like, oh, my God, that looks just like my bee. <laughs> and then when you touch it like this, you go, wee -hee, You know, like that. <laughs> the, do the dog owned one. So, it was called, I think, a little B, little busy B or busy B, something like that. I don't know what he called this B, busy B or something like that. He took his B, he tried to get a babysitter for it, right? Everybody know. know. <laughs> anyway, he found this little dog. She was inside the washing machine and she was giving herself a spa day. She had little cute comments on her head, little pink wrap and cute little white fluffy pretty dog. And. When she came out the washing machine from drying, I think the dishwasher, not washing machine. <laughs> yeah, this is a, not washing machine, a dishwasher. Child, he was like, um, could you watch my bee for me until I come back from vacation? So it's on the floor. She's looking at it. And she's like, oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. Yeah, I'll watch it with my life. 
And he was like, okay, well, that'd be great. She said, wow, it'd be just like, I'm the mommy and you're the daddy and we're a family. And he was like, uh, no, uh, she said, no, it's exactly like that. And he was like, okay. I said, yeah. He was instantly in a relationship. She said, if I'm going to watch your B, we're going to be in a relationship. We're going to be together. <laughs> and I said, oh, my God, that part was so funny to me. And then the third part uh, that was funny is <laughs> when they got on the farm, right? They met this big farm dog, his name Rooster. <laughs> they, first they called him Chicken. <laughs> he corrected him real quick. His rooster. Don't be freaky calling me chicken. <laughs> okay, so anyway, rooster is blunt. Straight to the point. He he blunt, okay? The dog, uh, they used to stand in the house. And this particular night, they made them stay outside. They weren't able to go in the house. So one dog was asleep. The other little puppy uh, had, he had brace around his neck. That was the other part of it. <laughs> he had a brace around, around his neck. <laughs> it was so dark that everything scared him out there, right? So then this fox tried to attack him. So the fox got the best of him. So Rooster came and saved him. And he was telling Rooster, I almost had him. He got the best of me because of my neck brace. <laughs> The rooster was like, we'll take it all. Well, you know, it's, it's my owner. I uh, feel like I need it. And rooster was like, why? Well, you know, like the therapist, you know, told me I got to wear it. You know, it's a therapy thing. <laughs> and rooster uh, was like, oh. And went up to him and, and, and bit on it and snatched his butt out of his brace. <laughs> so now, if the fox come back, there's no excuse for that fox to beat him up, okay? I fell out. I said, I can't. I can't. This, that, that show had me cracking up laughing. I told my daughter, I'm going to try not to laugh tonight because I really want to pay attention to it. Because, you know, cartoons got all these subliminals and they tell the truth in the cartoons. They put everything they want you to know in the cartoons. You know, it go, it just bypassed the kids. You know what I'm saying? But adults, you, you this here, <laughs> don't got the best of me. Y'all don't twist it in and everything. I'm going to take this wig off, but I got to Oh, Lord. You know what I found out about this wig is that when I put the glue gun on, it usually start peeling up by the end of the night. But with this just a little bit, the wig stick, it, it don't move. It literally is one of the the best little nice little wigs I bought so far. You know, it's crazy how nice this wig is for the money, you know. Um, but anyway, <laughs> so getting back. The, the last part that's, and I'm not going in order because I'm telling you the parts that I like the best first, right? <laughs> On the last part, that was so funny. <laughs> the child, he was at the, he, the owner decided she needed to take the dog to, to, to the doctor. And he ended up at a therapist because he became very itchy, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Which I thought was so funny. And I was sitting there. He was Every time something terrible would happen and, you know, he started to panic and stuff started going on in his head, he started itching. I said to Nadine, and I said, oh, my God, why that sound like me? Because as soon as I get anxiety real bad, <laughs> I itch. I itch. I have an internal itch. I can't even do anything about it. It's, like, terrible, you know? And then I end up scratching myself, and then I end up going through a shutdown, and it's terrible. So <laughs> he ended up at the therapist, okay? And then I'm going to tell you guys, then I'm going to get off this camera because I'm going to chill out and watch it. While he's sitting there at the therapist, all scared and everything because he don't want to be there. 
He was next to a cat. And this cat was like, oh, everything's fine. <clears throat> I'm here because I'm, I have to learn how to stay calm. You know, do everything to stay calm. So the owner did something like kind of like uh, sat him down or put him on the lap. Did something to the cat. The cat turned around. The cat was just scratching on top of saying, you dirty mother. I was just going crazy. The dog was like, what the freak? He was the calmest cat. And then two minutes later, he was a monster. So then the next dog <laughs> said he was there because he was paranoid. You know, he don't know why, you know, he's paranoid or whatever. But it, he was whole hiding underneath the chair. And then he turned to the right. It was two little Siamese cats. They told us so. We start fires. <laughs> that was it for him. He was scared to freaking death. He was scared. I think he met another dog too. Another. I can't remember what was wrong with that one. What was wrong? Did I get them all? I don't even know. It was another one too. It was so funny. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. I don't laugh so much with pets too. I didn't think I would laugh that much. But I did. Dream, shut your door. Tell me that game. Dream bought me some cold water. I wanted a glass of wine tonight. I felt like I needed it to just relax. I feel like I'm, oh, I'm stressed. But that's okay. I'm going to drink this water and be happy. And I will see y'all tomorrow. Yeah. And yeah. Have a good night. Hi, Skater Lights. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? Today is December 19th. I had to think about that. Oh, I smell good. It's chilly out here today. I have one of these Krabby Patties gummy candy left. Mm -mm -mm. I had a couple in my bag when they didn't got to it. Starting out a pretty chill morning. I've been up since four this morning, me and Aideen Boom. Drank some coffee, talking. Mm. I edit a vlog. And I took a shower so we could leave the house. Nadine. I was supposed to see a different dentist, but she called her dentist and she talked to them on the phone for about 30 minutes. And they're supposed to be uh, making accommodations for the wrong, making the wrong right or whatever. But I just saw her a few minutes ago and and Nadine is very like chill when she going to a place of business. She don't really like. She just like she's there to, to do what she need to do, and that's it. I saw Nadine doing all of that, and I was like, "Oh Lord!" I know I already know she's gonna be upset when she come out. I already know. But she told me to wait on her not to go nowhere. I want a piece of gum. Or something. 
Mm. Check out my pen. I bought me a pen. I'm hoping that it do good because you know uh, some of my spirit lights do order my picture. <laughs> And I, I, I signed it myself. So I bought me a pen. This is so cool. It says light and laser pen. Uh, what we need the laser for? I wonder laser. Is it like a red dot? Or is it going to like lay something? Let me know. Let me know. But it says three and one. I got it at Walgreens on sale. I think for $5.99. Trade wing three function light and laser pen. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, I'm hoping that it write good. Yeah. I have went to um let me see, is this a piece of gum? Oh my god. I found one piece of freaking gum. Oh, goodness yes <laughs> yes one piece dream is home he's back I didn't get him about my yogurt or anything because when he got home he wasn't in a good mood But sometimes I'll tell you what my son does. When he know I'm gonna get him, he's in this bad mood. Don't mess with him. But I did eat my Twix yogurt. Basically, um, I talked about how dream, dream um, miss <laughs> mm, why that I dream ate my Oreo yogurt. I thought I asked him not to, but the Twix was really good. I really enjoyed it. Congratulations to all the new mommies. We have a spirit of light, two of them. In the hospital right now having their babies one is having a little girl i think she said she's gonna name a catalina or something like that catalina mm -hmm. and the yoga sounds are very comforting for pregnant moms or moms that are in labor i always get women contacting me during Literally doing their labor. Well, I gotta let my ear. Yeah. See, I cover my ear with my scarf. That Jane hurt today. I don't know why. Mm, my lower her ear hurt. I'm gonna put it back in there though, cause it's stylish. You know what I'm saying? I like, I like it better like that. But my oh, God. Mm. <laughs> oh, the cost it costs. The price it costs to be beautiful. I tell you. So I'm just checking out a new beauty supply today. They weren't open last week yet. It grand opens today. I'm so freaking excited. Can't wait to get my butt up in there. Don't y'all like it? When you see a new beauty supply. Mm-hmm. All I'll be thinking about is fresh freaking wigs. <laughs> new wigs. All new wigs on a mannequin. That's all I'll be thinking about. And then I like to check out the mannequin because if the mannequin look good, the wig on, I can imagine myself with that wig on. Mm -hmm. Why well, I gotta be so cold out here? There's people watching. 
I watched this lady. She inside the store. She got on a leopard lawn, like a trench jacket and leopard shoes. And she prancing real slow. Them shoes, them high heels, high. But she making it. Mm-hmm. Got a basket in her hand and everything. Mm-mm. I'm going to tell you what we did. I have put on some flats <laughs> when I went in that store. And I came back. I got to my job again or wherever I was going to be at. I put the heels back on. Mm-hmm. Show enough, show enough. Mm-mm. I ain't walking around no store. I'm going to freak heels on. I had an incident when I was younger. I had on um, boot shoes and I was with a guy and we was uh, buying dinner and stuff. <laughs> Girl, I was walking to the grocery store and I was trying to take my time because I knew I had on shoes. I didn't want to be slipping and sliding. I was so busy trying to take my time. When I saw what I needed, I went to go grab for it and I went Shh. All I saw was the air. I saw the air and I was thinking in my mind, dang, 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 dang. It was so embarrassing. Hmm? And even though the guy was so concerned, he was like upset that I fell. I was more freaking embarrassed. My body just said, shoot. <laughs> and I hit the, hit, the, hit the grocery store floor. Oh my God. That was like the worst. I thought I don't mess around with shoes like that. Like, I like flats. I like hills, though. If I can get in some hills and I can walk in them real good, oh, yeah. When the spirit girl loves some hills. But I like hills when the occasion calls for it. Like a fine <laughs> date. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. But as far as, like, anything else, flats. Flats all the way. Because them hills will have you a missing ankle. <laughs> You'll be missing a whole ankle, okay? <laughs> Take cute. Mm -hmm. And I like having nice toes. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna tell you, I know people who wear heels every day. Let's not talk about their toes. Because that would just be me. <laughs> we gonna leave it like that. Okay. <laughs> they wear them heels though. They wear them. Girl. <laughs> and I be seeing some heels. I'm like, oh my God. These are cute. These are cute. First thing I think about is my toe. I got some flat shoes, you guys. That's so cute. They sparkly. They shiny. They glistering. I put them on my feet. I like, ooh. Cute. Girl, I felt a scrape on my little pinky toe. And I was like, uh, what's that? I went to go touch it and it was sore. I was like, oh, you got to go. You got to go. I ain't, I'm not putting no band-aid. Mm -mm. I'm not doing nothing extra to put those shoes on. Nothing is going to put any marks on spirit toes because spirit toes need to be smooth. So when the time comes, <laughs> somebody that I feel like I'm special enough that they're going to be like, you know, kissing my toes or whatever they doing to it, they going to be cute. Okay? Shoes. Uh-uh. Spirit cannot have no messed up feet, no messed up toes. Uh-uh. No. They might get ashy, but they ain't got no swords on them. Now, I stay with some ashy feet. Because I usually put oil on before I get in the shower. And sometimes I put oil on when I get out of the shower. But I had to stop because, like I, I like I told y'all before, my daughter walked past me. I was like, why are you shiny? <laughs> Try to put up her coconut oil all over my body. <laughs> I be real shiny. So I kind of lay and back off the oil when I get out. So I put it on before. So my skin is so smooth and baby fat pretty. You know, so anyway. Mm-hmm. And I take care. 
uh, my behind the same way I take care of my face. I take good care of it because it's the same type of skin. My behind smooth just like my face, you know. And I definitely oil down my face and my behind when I get in that tub or in the shower. And Spirit Girl ain't doing nothing extra to have no pretty feet. One, I don't have nobody in my life. Um, two, I just want to have naturally nice feet. I don't want to have to have that extra thing that I got to think about. So, as soon as something starts scraping up against my feet, it's got to go. It's got to go. Uh-uh. I don't even want them to put them on for emergency shoes. I just don't want them, period. Mm-mm. It starts scratching my feet or scratching the back of that. It's this little spot um, between your leg and your uh, heel of your feet. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. I don't play that. I don't play that because when the feet hurt, the whole body hurt. Now, how are we going to subject talking about feet? Anyway, <laughs> move it on. Oh my God. I need to put my sweater on. I'm hoping you didn't get in here too long. I want me a cup of um, a decaf holiday um, coffee drink from um, Dunkin' Donuts. And I want to try their Beyond Sausage. I think that's what it's called. I want to try it because I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. Only thing I had, I did good last night. I did good. A green smoothie. And then the leftover smoothie that I had, that when you make too much in a picture, I've drunk a green smoothie this big. And left, I took it and put it in a pot. I add water. I add my seasoning. Well, no, no seasoned salt. I'm, I'm, have not had salt on my food um, for about a week now. For a week, trying to get, trying to just kind of like lower down on the salt. Yeah, I add um, organic potato, organic onions, organic peppers, and, and some sauce. Mm mm mm. Mary Jane Dream's like, oh my, for this to be this healthy, it is really tasty and really good. They really enjoyed it. That made me feel good. Now, my son, he, he had to counter with the food with the salt. <laughs> I felt some kind of way. Because <laughs> when you cook, you don't want nobody doing nothing to your food. You don't want them even adding no extra season. You want them to be like, oh my God, this is good. To my son tore it up. He had like two big plates. But he added that salt to it. Me and Nadine ate it without the salt. So I did good. I didn't snack last night. I went to sleep. I slept good. But I woke up early. And I woke up hungry. So I've been stacking on these. Um, pistachio kernels. They are so freaking good. They're really good. Yeah, I've been stacking on those. They, they're really good. I feel bad I, I ate a lot of them. Because I like later on when I'm editing or something, I would love to be snacking on these. Mm. I'd be so glad when the winter pass. I'm so tired of being cold. I'm really young. Um, I'm just glad we ain't got no snow. No snow and no ice. Nadine asked me the other day. She said, Mom, you ever wish you could eat snow? No, Nadine. She said, I wonder what snow tastes like. I said, it tastes like dirt. <laughs> she said, no, it don't. No, it does. Yes, it do. <laughs> Shoot, last time I ate snow, I was in New Jersey. I was a little girl. And most of the snow that hit the ground be brown. <laughs> and I ate it. <laughs> I ate snow when I was a little kid. So the snow be dirty by the time it's time for us to go to school and we be playing all in it and stuff like that. And it be all slushy from the cars and traffic. Mm hmm. 
<laughs> like, yeah, don't be with your fun off because now I'm already ready to leave and don't know which way I'm going. So, California, Vegas, Hawaii, Florida, warm places, Arizona. Got to go somewhere because it's getting cold. 